everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Tuesday, April 22nd, 2025, and the earthquakes continued there by Nyland, California, in the Salton Sea. There's been 55 earthquakes within the last week, last seven days. This area is capable of having a magnitude 8 earthquake. There was a magnitude 4.5 last year, um, April 30th, and then we had a magnitude 3.1, let's see, which was um, April 10th of this year, um, a 3.1. It was a thrust earthquake where one side of the fault rises up and um, often the other side stays stationary or drops down. People sent in reports to USGS that they felt it. They gave it an intensity level of four. It's a moment tensor ball. It caught my attention because of the rise of earthquakes in this location. Did a report um, citing how they're extracting lithium from the brine. The brine that they're pumping out of the ground is about uh, 600 degrees um, Fahrenheit, really hot. Recently got the go-ahead to process this lithium. It's probably one of the uh, uh, largest lithium um, area to produce uh, batteries for EV cars and trucks and different things. But you can hear, um, see here how the brine is pumped up and yeah, they're injecting um, the brine back into the ground. And in my opinion, that is why they are having these recent swarm of earthquakes. I thought I would try and find the culprit possibly uh, related to the uh, lithium. And the only one that I could find going through the map here on Google Earth would be this power plant right here which is extracting the brine to um, produce lithium. To say that, th that there's not others in this area, but this is the Hudson Ranch Power One. Three different colors for all the different earthquakes. Uh, the older earthquakes are in yellow. The more recent earthquakes are in green. And then this week's earthquakes are in purple. In uh, 2023, I believe it was, they were worried that the rise in earthquakes could trigger a large earthquake along the San Andreas Fault Zone, which I got drawn out in red. Here in Nyland, California, the Salton Sea, they experience about 5,000 earthquakes annually within a 100 kilometer radius. Nyland, California is in the heart of the emerging Lithium Valley near the Salton Sea, a region with a vast lithium deposit, critical for electric vehicles, EV batteries, and energy storage. The area's geothermal brine found deep underground contains some of the world's highest lithium concentrations, estimated to support over 375 million EV batteries, enough to meet U.S. demands for decades. Brime is highly corrosive and very toxic. The new U.S. Inflation Reduction Act, which prioritizes domestic sourcing for minerals for EV batteries, combined with California's new role to end sales for the new gas cars or gasoline cars over the next decade, will only intensify that demand with the uh, silvery white metal going for about $70,000 a ton. I believe they have a tax on it of about uh, $400,000 a ton. Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, recently described the lithium production as a license to print money. But are these naturally occurring earthquakes or, or are they caused by the uh, um, pumping of the brine back into the ground. You know the dangers of a major earthquake going from south to north along the San Andreas Fault Zone. They know that the fault zone goes right through here. There was a major magnitude 8 earthquake 
that ruptured along this fault zone in this location. Once uh, the rupture reached uh, the Los Angeles area, it would um, enter an area of a bottleneck where it would squeeze down the uh, seismic waves and then blast back out like a fire hose. And the destruction and the loss of life, the property damage would be tremendous. Three main companies are driving the lithium extraction projects in the region. Like I said, I could only find one right now. One is called Controlled Thermal Resources. Um, they're in Hell's Kitchen. It's a project near uh, Neyland. Um, it began construction last year for $1.85 billion. The facility combining lithium extraction with geothermal power. It aims to produce 25,000 metric tons of battery grade lithium um, annually by sometime this year, enough to support about 415,000 EVs. There's also Berkshire Hathaway Energy and Energy Source Minerals. This plant that I found is owned by Energy Source Minerals. This plant, also known as John L. Featherstone Geothermal Plant, their project called Atlas, A-T-L-I-S, plans to produce about 20,000 metric tons of lithium carbonate um, per year, with commercial operations expanding um, all the way through next year. This system is what's called a closed loop system that rejects brine underground um, that they cannot use, minimizing, supposedly, environmental impacts. The minerals that they're not using is being pumped back into the ground. The people there are really concerned about the environmental impact. You know, they got uh, a large prison there. There's also schools and the town. I'll go to that location for the uh, town. Now, that's up over here right there not far from where all this production is going on like i said they have a large prison um yeah and a school it's not a very large population for some reason yeah there was a large earthquake um, up to a magnitude eight yeah the destruction would be horrible it is a very poor area area um yeah they started all the production with the promise of jobs you know boosting the economy i thought i would do an update about these recent earthquakes yeah there's been a lot of them the most recent magnitude 1.6 that would be about one and a half miles in depth or 3.1 kilometers this one too was a thrust earthquake with a fault zone it looks like moving slightly south. The earthquake occurred at 537 Pacific Standard Time. About 45 minutes ago, as I'm making this video. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please thumbs up my videos. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.